Recently at the Casino at Ocean Downs, they hosted their annual Back to the Track Night. It was a trot-tabulous, a pace-alicious evening. First of all, let me explain what Back to the Track is. It's a nationwide party that celebrates harness racing and is held one weekend each year. It's a way to both thank its longtime patrons and invite those back who haven't recently experienced the excitement of the sport. Welcome back to the track. On this eventful evening, there was plenty of fun for everyone. Top of the spread, the outside here comes now. The inside time to prevent our outside. and friends of racing took advantage of great deals on food and beverages. And included in the excitement, there were drawings for prizes after each race for t-shirts and for slots vouchers. Plus, one lucky guest was picked to win a $500 cash voucher in the grand prize drawing. One of my very favorite charities, Horse Lovers United, a group that finds homes for standard bred racers who can no longer compete, set up a booth. Even one of their retired four-legged stars named Bathsheba came out to enjoy the back to the track event. The pink loving mare, Sable, along with Curb Your Z-Tam, another standard bred racehorse who is now retired, took center stage by leading the post parade for the first race and strutting their stuff as accomplished riding horses. Nikki, how do you think the horses did tonight for Back to the Track? I think they did wonderful. They went out there and they showed off and they were happy. They had their ears up and they just wanted to go. As soon as the racehorses came up, they're like, can we race? <laughs> but coming back when they were walking back to the first couple of times, they were like, what are these little people doing? And then they were like, oh, I can show off and stand. And they behaved. They, they wanted the attention. Sandra Breads love the attention. Yeah, tell me about your horse, Sable, in particular. She is a princess, right? Yes, she is. Pink is her color. <laughs> and she loves getting the attention and getting dressed up and everything. She likes to be dressed up. She For her birthday, we put on the tiara. And she just shows off in pictures. And when I go to shows, she prances around. She just loves the attention. And when you're riding her, she wants to be talked to like a princess. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki, very much. I'm glad you came out tonight. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Melinda, I know you love standard breads. Why are they such a great breed? Because they're just overall, just have a great outgoing personality. There's really no difference between, you know, a normal riding horse and a standard bread. They just race just like a thoroughbred with a lot of different equipment and the only thing they have to get over is the weight on their back. They've done seen everything and anything so the way I look at it they're like a young horse you can train them to whatever you want and yet they have all the experience of gone places so they're just so yeah whatever I'm here. <laughs> You've actually broke quite a few standard breads, and I'm not a riding girl. I don't know anything. This is Melinda's deal, okay? Uh, so, but they can do just about everything. Can you just name a couple different, you know, new vocations or new um, occupations that standard breads have had? I know they're barrel race and other stuff, right? Yes, I had a home bed advantage. Dave McCaffrey's horse, who was pretty good as a two-year-old. <laughs> um, he actually went to a little girl, Haley Lynch, and she trained him for the speed event, you know, the barrels, the poles, and he really loved it. And I was like, I wonder how many standard breads have done that. So I actually Googled it, and there is an actual standard bread that competes just as good as those quarter horses, and even thoroughbreds make it there, and they were, he was just as good as all of them. I trained mine, I'm more of an English girl, so Curb Your Z-Tam is gonna do the hunter jumpers, and we'll see how it goes. Well, speaking of shows, right around the corner we have the Delaware State Fair, and can we see you there? Of course, you can see me there in the riding class with Curb Your Z-Tam, and we're also taking Power Girl Z-Tam, and Lori Davis will have her in the blue corner, and of course we have Princess Keystone Sable with Nikki. So look out for us there, we're taking over this year. <laughs> Thanks, Melinda. No problem, thank you. I heart standard bread so much. They are anything but standard.